Wow, so yesterday there was a lot of talk about the Canadians annual golf tournament. Everyone was interested in what Gordon had to say, what Hughes had to say, how many hot dogs Slavkovsky could eat. But one interview that kind of flew under the radar yesterday was the Arbor Jack Eye interview. And let me tell you something, this guy is straight on a Yellowstone ranch, okay? He's a little terrifying. And yesterday, while the media were hounding him about Milan Lucic and Ryan Reeves, a conversation that would normally make somebody's underwear about five pounds heavier, well, Jack I didn't seem intimidated at all. He would say, quote, Yeah, they're big physical guys, but I'm not a small guy either, boys. So I'm not going to put too much stress on myself. And look, this is exactly what he needs to say. I mean, what else is he going to do? Stand there and be like, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd like to announce my retirement. No, Arby is 22 years old. He's just a kid. This meatball right here is 14 years older than him. This meatball is 13 years older. And the fact that Jacko isn't intimidated at all should tell you everything you need to know about his character. The man's a beast, okay? And, and when he's in his prime, skill and toughness-wise, he's the kind of guy that you're going to want to bring to war. Now, he also said that he was going to stick to his game and, quote, bring the heat. He does expect guys to come looking for him now that he's got a bit of a reputation, but he's going to be ready to deal with that noise when the time comes. He looked so calm while he was answering his questions. I, I mean, you'd swear that he was talking to his grandma about dessert after supper. As for his shoulder, he said it feels great. It's even stronger than before, if you can believe it. Now, I don't even know how that's possible. What are they doing? Pouring concrete in there so it doesn't happen again? But he seems pretty confident that he's going to be ready to play the same mean physical style of game again next season which is exactly what we all want to see but here's where this video is about to take a bit of a twist okay because i am a little pissed off that the canadians didn't get him any help you know what i mean open your eyes because you've got to be blind if you didn't notice the atlantic division beefing up their lineups throughout the course of the offseason. Toronto got tougher. Ottawa got tougher. Boston got tougher. Tampa Bay got dumber. <sighs> Sorry, Watson, I had to. But it felt like the majority of teams added some sandpaper into their lineup. While well, the Canadians are just going to sit back and let 22-year-old Jack I deal with everything on his own. <sighs> Come on, man. Just because the kid doesn't back down doesn't mean that he's got to be tossed into the fire every time. <sighs> All I'm going to say is they should get him some help, okay? Some real help. Hear me out. The Philadelphia Flyers are revamping their team right now. Nicholas Delorier has a cap hit of $1.75 million over the next three seasons. And I'd be fine if Kent Hughes went out and made a move to get him. It might sound a little crazy. Maybe there is a bit too much Baileys in my coffee this morning. But D'Lo is a gamer. We've seen it before. He can play hockey. He's a big body that moves fast. He can keep up with the game. And also, most importantly, he can chuck him with the best. You bring a guy like Nicholas Delorier into the lineup right now, and it really takes some weight off of the shoulders of Arbor Jack on. Delorier's contract would come to an end right when Arby is about 25 years old, entering his prime. And the rest is history. You want to know why Arby's shoulder got hurt last season? Because he was carrying too much weight on his shoulders all season long. That's why. So, if you're against acquiring a guy like Delorier right now, tell me why in the comment section. Is he not good enough to play on a rebounding team like Montreal? Because I can think of a couple of guys right now that I would swap out of the lineup for Nicolas Delorier in a heartbeat. Let me know your thoughts. If you like these videos and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, maybe today could be the day that you decide to leg drop the subscribe button. And hey, oh, see you next time.